Hello students, I hope you all are doing great and preparing well for your KCT exams. So, in today's video, we will be doing formula revision of all the formulas that are there in trigonometry and inverse trigonometry. The goal is to start from very basic and cover all the advanced formulae. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will all be, a PDF of this file also will be provided so you can refer that and revise all the formulae. And uh, there is one more series that I have created called most repeated questions uh, chapter wise. You can follow that as well. Uh, that will help you in your exam to score good marks. Okay. So, let us start uh, today's video. So, from very basic. So, first thing uh, as you if you remember we studies the relationship between radians and degrees. So, always remember pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. This is an important relation. Then next coming to the trigonometric formula, uh, the trigonometric ratios. So, these are ratios. So, if you have this particular triangle, okay. So, for this the angle A is this, for this angle A this is the opposite, this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse. So, sin A is defined as opposite by hypotenuse, cos A is adjacent by hypotenuse, tan A is opposite by adjacent, cosec A is hypotenuse divided by opposite secant A is hypotenuse divided by adjacent and you have cot A that is adjacent divided by opposite. Moving on, then you have these relations. Sin A is nothing but 1 divided by cosec A, cos A is equal to 1 divided by sec A, tan A is equal to 1 divided by cot A. Then you have got tan A. Tan A is equal to sin A divided by cos A, cot A is equal to cos A divided by sin A. These are very basic relations. Uh, I so please make a note of all these formulae. Okay. Next we have this trigonometric identities, very standard identities. Sin square a plus cos square a is equal to one. One plus tan square a is equal to six square a. One plus cot square a is equal to cos x square. Moving on, you have these relations also. Sec a minus tan a into sec a plus tan a is equal to one. Cos a minus cot a, cos a plus cot a is equal to so, these are all the very basic formulae. Now, we will start the real formulas. Okay, the sign of trigonometric function. In the first quadrant, this is your first, second, third and fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, all the trigonometric ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, sine and cosec is positive, rest all are negative. In your third quadrant, you have tan and cot that is positive, rest all are negative. In the fourth quadrant, cos and secant is positive and the rest of the things are negative. Moving on, we will just quickly recall <coughs> the trigonometric ratios of some standard angles 0 degree to 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, tan 0 is 0 as you all know, cosec 0, cosec 0 will be 1 by 0, 1 by 0 is not defined, sec 0 will be 0, 1 by 1 which is 1 cot 0 will be 1 by 0 that is not defined. Coming to 30 degrees, sin 30 degrees as you all remember it is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Coming to 45, 45 is easy, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, cos 45 is also 1 by root 2, tan 45 is 1. Next coming to 60 degrees angle, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, cos 60 is 1 by 2, tan, tan 60 is root 3. So, moving on, sin 90, sin 90 is 1, cos 90 is 0, tan 90 is not defined. So, these are very important formulae, you need to know all of them. Moving on, some important results that we study. Sin of x plus y is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. Sin of x minus y is sin x cos y minus cos x sin y cos x plus y is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Cos x cos, uh, cos of x minus y is cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. So, these are very basic formulae that you need to know. Next, moving on tan of x plus y is tan x plus tan y 1 minus tan x tan y. Tan of x minus y is tan x minus tan y 1 plus tan x tan y. Next, moving on cot. Cot is uh, re slightly tricky. So, Listen carefully. I will tell you how to remember. Cot of x plus y, first, first you recall the denominator. 
cot y plus cot x then the numerator part cot x cot y minus 1 cot of x minus y is first the denominator cot y minus cot x then the numerator part cot x cot y plus 1 okay then coming to these these formula these are very important sin of 2 sex 2 x is 2 sin x cos x this is the standard one but in terms of tan it is 2 tan x divided by 1 plus tan square x next you have cos 2 x in cos 2 x the standard result is cos square minus sin square x then you can again manipulate and get new results 2 cos square x minus 1 1 minus 2 sin square x and in terms of tan x it is 1 minus tan square x 1 plus tan square x and these are other two important results that you need to know 1 plus cos x cos 2 x is equal to 2 cos square x and 1 minus cos 2 x is equal to 2 sin square x moving on tan 2 x is equal to 2 tan x divided by 1 minus tan square x then sin 3 x formula sin 3 x is equal to 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x cos 3 x formula is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x okay next coming to tan 3 x tan 3 x is also very simple 3 tan x minus tan cube x divided by 1 minus 3 tan square x okay all are very important next moving on to these formula sin of c plus d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 okay that is the standard result next moving on to sin of c minus d 2, 2 cos c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 next moving on to cos c plus cos d 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 easy cos c minus d is tricky minus of 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 moving on so again this formula you have 2 sin x cos y is equal to sin of x plus y plus sin of x minus y 2 cos x sin y is equal to sin of x plus y minus of sin x minus y 2 cos x cos y is cos x plus y plus cos x minus y 2 sin x sin y again here it is a tricky part cos of x minus y minus cos of x plus y first it is cos of x minus y then minus of cos of x plus y these are also important formulae sin of x sin x plus y into sin x minus y is equal to sin square x minus sin square y cos x plus y cos x minus y is equal to cos square x minus sin square y so this term is constant sin square y is there in both the formulae domain and range uh, i think we can skip this part okay yeah now moving on to inverse trigonometry in inverse trigonometry as you all know domain and range are very important as there is there is a fix uh, as you all know there is a fixed question from this in your board exams mcq question fix okay let's see sin inverse x the domain domain is what all values x can take x jagadalli yenen hagbagu so in x place what we can put we can put minus 1 to 1 in range what is the output when you put values in this function you will get some output right that output will be range from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 important part is closed bracket similarly for cos inverse x the domain is minus 1 to plus 1 and the range is okay okay one second the range is not uh, the range is not minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 there is an error uh, okay let me correct it yeah so the correct one is <coughs> okay so it is the 0 to pi okay sorry for the correction okay it is 0 to pi close bracket for tan inverse x uh, for tan inverse x the domain is r and the range is open interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 cot inverse x it is again the domain is r and the range is open interval 0 to pi next you have cos inverse x where the domain is r minus of minus 1 to 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 close bracket minus 0 sec inverse x again the domain is same but the range is different 0 to pi closed interval minus pi by 2 that one particular value you are removing next you have these standard relations sin inverse of sin x is equal to x only when x is between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 if x is between this then only this will work or else it will not work then you have cos inverse of cos x which is equal to x that will work only when x is between 0 to pi if x is somewhere else this will not work then you have tan inverse of tan x equal to x then x is between open interval 
minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Then you have cot inverse of cot x is equal to x when x is between 0 to 5. Cosec inverse of cosec x is equal to x when x belongs to close and interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, 0 is excluded. Sec inverse of sec x is x belongs to 0 to pi and minus pi by 2 is excluded. Moving on, next you have sin of sin inverse x. Sin of sin inverse x is also x, cos of cos inverse x is x, tan of tan inverse x is x, okay, so on. Okay, these are some again important formulae. Sin inverse of 1 by x is cosec inverse x, cos inverse 1 by x is sec inverse x. In tan inverse 1 by x, there is a slightly change. When x is greater than 0, it is directly cot inverse x, but when x is less than 0, it is minus pi plus cot inverse x. That is what you need to keep in mind. These are also important formulae. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Negatives are also very important. Sin inverse of minus x is minus sin inverse x. Tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. Cosec inverse of minus x is minus cosec inverse x. But for cos, sec and cot, the story is different. Cos, sec and cot. Cos inverse of minus pi minus x is pi minus cos inverse x. Sec is pi minus sec inverse x. Cot is pi minus cot inverse x. Moving on. Tan inverse of x plus y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy provided xy is less than 1. This is also important. Tan inverse of tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x minus y divided by 1 plus xy. Next you have 2 tan inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x divided by 1 plus x square cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square and then you have tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Then you have this 3 sin inverse x which is equal to sin inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. Then you have 3 cos inverse x which is cos inverse of 4x cube minus 3x. Then 3 tan inverse x which is tan inverse of 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus 3x square. I hope this session was helpful to you. The PDF of this file will be provided in the description. So from there you can download it. Uh, yeah, if this video was helpful to you, if you got, uh, if you got something, uh, something to learn from this, uh, please press the like button. This will help, this will help my video to reach more people so that more students benefit from this and do well in their KCET exams. Okay. Thank you.